<laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Daisy Jen Vex and welcome to a game called Luma. Wow. Okay, so you want to take a guess as to why I chose this game? Take a good look. Did you guess it? I bet you guessed wrong. Okay, if you guess the art style, you're at least partially correct. <laughs> I actually chose this game because it really reminded me of a game, well, one of the first games that I actually played. Um, and that was a game called Loom, which is kind of interesting. Loom, Luma. <laughs> anyway, this is kind of how I envision Loom would look if somebody went and completely remastered it. Um, and it's just like this game, it is a or was a is was whatever it's a point and click style game and this is a point and click style game and i will put the links down in the description for you to go and check out but yes um i just i i saw it i loved it really wanted to play it and if it is anything like loom then i think i am completely justified in my excitement and since this little guy looks exactly, well, it, not exactly, but he kind of looks like the guy from uh, Loom, so I'm going to call him Bobbin. Say hello, Bobbin. Hello, Bobbin. <laughs> Such a little bitch, isn't he? Okay, let's go. I'm not sure how this works, so I'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. Let's go. Um... Very nice use of color. Oh, okay. Okay, so it is. It, you've got your magical stuff doing magical light things. And. Oh, it makes these little twinkling sounds. It's very nice. I, I've turned down a light bulb and I've opened the door. Oh, it's very, very nice. I really like it. It looks almost, you know, kind of hand painted. It's very, very nice. Ooh, what is this? I love these old style puzzle games. I really do. So I, I'm assuming that what I need to do is I need to solve a puzzle or solve puzzles to get through this door. And I can't go that, that way, that whatever way. I can't go that way. So I'm going to go that way. <laughs> My camera has flipped, so... Hmm. Okay, so there's another light bulb to turn on. Looks like I'm on this really strange kind of planet. Ooh, can't do that. Okay, wait. No. Purple? Nope. Yellow? Nope. This really does remind me a lot like uh, of Loom, because in Loom, you also just had your staff, which was called a disc staff, and you had to make music with it, um, you know, play these magical chords to make stuff happen, which is kind of like this, only it seems to use crystals and colors. Oh, clicked out of the game. <laughs> uh, going back. Where am I going? What am I doing? I have no idea whatsoever, but I like it. I like it. I mean, that's the whole point of puzzle games. You're supposed to figure this stuff out, right? Right? <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? Ooh, okay. Accidental click discovery. Wow, that is a very hefty Simon Says to start off with. I didn't see all of that. Okay. One, two, one, one, two, one, 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 two, one. Yay! <laughs> it looks kind of like this, like an alien circuit board. Okay, but what's that done now? Is there one that I have to do everywhere, or did that light up now? Oh, I turned it on. Should I do it with different colors? Mm, doesn't seem that way. It just seems like I turned it on. So I'm going to go back and see what else is going on. It's a very nice use of color, though. 
uh, it's two turned on. It really is. Oh, look, it's like the circle in the bottom and then the circle in the top and then the one in the center is both complete. That's lovely. But yeah, I really like the use of color in the different scenes. Like you had that very reddish color on the one and then the blue and then you have this green. It's really nice. And like I said, it's really pretty too. I'm all glowing green. <laughs> uh, I'm going to guess that I have to do something with this. Okay. Oh, 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 shite. I suck at these kinds of puzzles. Um, uh, okay. Let's do purple again. And then yellow. Okay. I thought I sucked. Go get a bobbin. Turn on that light for us. Hop. Hop. Oh, he's got a very long thing at the back of his robe. Our little bobbin friend here. Okay. Do I go back now? Seems like I go back. So we're going to go back and go through the door. Like in the mythology of Loom, you can, they're called weavers. and You can never look under the weaver's robe under his hood because it's instant death but I really like the robe that this guy's got on I just wonder is that like does he have like one eye or I don't know if they okay can, can okay let's go through the door <laughs> I'm like a little girl again playing one of my old favorites oh I'm gonna love this game so I love it already never mind going to I love it already okay Okay. Ooh, okay, wait. Okay. So only when there's no light does it show these. And I have no idea what they are. Not the foggiest. Um. Okay, wait. Um. What? Oh, oh, okay, wait. Here's some. Whoa! Oh! Oh my! Okay. Let's use this one. Well, that helped. Okay, um, let's see if we can find... Okay, so don't use the bloody purple one. Oh, uh, we need green. We need green. Green! We need green first. Am I supposed to just use all green? Because the purple didn't do me any favors whatsoever. Another green? We're going up. Okay, purple or yellow? I didn't see any yellow. Yellow doors. Oh, ah, shit snozzles. Okay, green door. And then, let me just use the... Okay, we're going to have to use purple after this. Um, green door. And then we have to use purple... Okay, and then I think it's green again. No! <laughs> this might take a second, but it's really, it's really interesting. Con I screwed it up. It's supposed to be green. But it's a really, really interesting concept. I wonder if I can use this yellow door. Where will this take me? No, this yellow door doesn't want to take me anywhere. Okay, wait. Let's take a look at this. Because maybe I'm just missing a very obvious hint. Okay, so it says we're going to start over here. This is green. And then green and green again. Or whatever's in the middle. I have to use what's in the middle. There are three doors and I used, have to use whatever's in the middle. And then I have to use the, 
right one. <laughs> Just pretend you didn't see that. The right one, and that should take me where I need to go. Okay, so we we're going to begin with green. Again, which is this one. And then I need to see what color is in the middle. So here we have... I accidentally clicked on it. I'm sorry. I feel like such a dweeb. Dweeb faced twit moron thingamabob. Green. Okay. Green. Now don't accidentally click on any doors. Move. Okay. Yellow. We have to take the middle door that's yellow. And then purple. Please be right. Yay! <laughs> oh, I really do enjoy these kind of puzzle adventures. There's, they're so simple. And yet so challenging and fun at the same time. What? No! I'm so sad now. Really? I was really, really hoping there'd be more to this. Hold on, I've got to go check if there's more to this. Hold on, just stay right there. Okay, so I went, I looked around, and it looks like this is the end of the game for now. I mean, we do have a question mark. So there might be more to this game in the future. I, for one, really, really, really hope there is more to this game. I mean, this would be like one of my dream games. Just an, a nice little point and click adventure that's absolutely gorgeously designed. The music is really, really beautiful. I love the use of color. Um, the controls, they get a little sticky at one point where the, the character would Ooh, excuse me, where the character would kind of struggle to move a little. Um, you know, especially like when you were in the pillars and you can't really see where you're supposed to move. But other than, than that, which is, I mean, that's a, like a really minor problem in a point and click game. But the, the concept itself, the use of the stuff and the use of the color and the lights um, and even the use of sound. It's really, really appealing. Um, and, you know, like I said, I mean, come on, the art style is just beautiful. Look at it. But, yeah, no, I, I really, really hope there's more to this game. I am going to follow it. And like I said, I'll put the link down in the description so that you can go and give the puzzles a whirl for yourself. But this is definitely one I'm going to keep my eye on. And if the developers do expand on it, I definitely will play this again and I will play it a lot <laughs> I really do hope they expand on it anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it remember to hit the like button down below and Sunday is Q&A so don't forget to leave me those questions if you want them answered but thank you guys so much and I'll be seeing you next time bye I am trying to figure out how to make my microphone stay here. Ah!